it's nine in the morning or just past nine in the morning. There's nobody in the monastery, nobody in the forestry apart from me in this forest. But I kid you not, I saw a figure going into the monastery. Maybe it's an animal, maybe it's a person, I've got no idea. There's the figure. What? I don't know. I will keep on walking. I will keep on walking until I find my way. It's been hard, it's been tough, but it's been great. People stop, they want to give you a hug, they want to smile with you. I got my backpack, I got my tent, I've got my uh, sleeping mat, I've got everything that I need. Sometimes cars stop without hitchhiking, sometimes I hitchhike, sometimes I just love to walk. Exercise the bones and make sure you keep yourself fit. Keep yourself fit wherever you are, whatever you're doing, guys. And me, ah, Crasivo. I keep on going. I will keep on walking. I will keep on walking until I find my way. There's nobody, just me in the whole place. Lovely. My name is Metax. Oh, Metax. Okay, your mom is Metax. And you? My Maria. name is Maria. Maria. Oh, so it's Maria and Metax. It's so nice to be traveling with you guys. And I've got um, our driver. Arthur. Oh, oh, his name is Arthur. 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 We are going to part ways near Diligent. But they're saying hiking is not a good idea because of the snow, the snow-covered mountains and the hills. Yeah. So it doesn't make it easy. So I will. I, th I think I might let that one pass because he is the um, third person to tell me exactly the same thing. So when people give you advice, you have to take that. Goshavang to Hajarzin. Hajarzin, Hajarzin. Yeah, Hajarzin. kilometer. Ten. Also, Goshavang. It's not very far. Hajarzin. Uh, okay. Thank you very much, and thanks for the ride. I'm here now. It's nine in the morning or just past nine in the morning. There's nobody in the monastery, nobody in the forestry apart from me in this forest. But I kid you not, I saw a figure going into the monastery. I don't know where the figure came from. Maybe it's an animal, maybe it's a person, I've got no idea. It just came from nowhere, that figure. And at nine in the morning, if it was at night, I would think maybe it's a ghost. But there's the figure. Well, I don't know. Oh yes, I finally solved the mystery of the of the figure. It was a dog. I've just had to scare it away because I don't know whether it's going to bite or not. So you don't want to play around with that. More especially in a foreign country. I, I mean, dogs are very friendly, but don't risk it. Going to one of the 13th to 14th century cathedral or church, which is now abandoned, but it's protected by the government and the um, the world heritage but getting here is very difficult there is a 15 to 20 minutes walk from the main town you walk at least 10 15 minutes up a very steep hill it's a dirt road if it's raining or snowy it's all muddy it's not very easy to walk if you've got a backpack so find somewhere in the forest just to hide your backpack so I'm going to walk to that church, but let's just look round with me. And as you can see, I came from down there. So I had to walk from down there. As you can see, it's, it's only forest here. The church is over there, and there is another church, which is abandoned as well, built between the 13th and 14th century. Excuse me for my running nose, it's because it's a bit cold. And the one that I'm going to go to after that one is Motovansk, uh, Motovansk Church. I will write the names down because the pronunciation might not be 100% perfect. And here we are to the 13th and 14th century old church. Very, very old. I'm going to take some photos. It's just in the forest, as you can see. There's nothing else here. There's no, not a soul. Is This monastery consists of two churches. 
built in medieval times and the architecture is quite amazing. Now this is the second part of the church. Uh, Jukta means uh, two or tin. So here they make two churches and that's Jukta Monastery. So this is one of them. But there's an eerie feeling here of these churches. There's nobody here, just me. And there's a gate here stopping people from going inside. Oh, and the stones. I mean, there are tombs, as you can see on the ground. This is one thing in this country. You find tombs all over the place. See the gate here? So we cannot go in. It doesn't really prevent you from going in. I don't think it's even locked. Oh, it's welded. Yeah, it's welded here to stop people from going in. But if you really want to go, you can still go through here. But I wouldn't because the structure doesn't seem very safe. From this distance, you can really see the two churches. They're beautiful, but there's something really eerie about them. It's, it's, I'm not scared. I'm just You just feel like the building is going to collapse on you, but at least I'm not going inside. I've gone up this hill up here. I went up there. And I can see nothing apart from forest and trees. So I don't want to go deep into the forest and get lost. <laughs> I just feel that every Christian has to come here and see what I'm seeing. If you don't know how to get here, you can contact me and I will be happy to bring you here, you here if I'm around Eastern Europe. This is one of the things that you have to do in your bucket list. Go to the country where Christianity started. And this was the country. The first country in the world. Now that is cause for celebrations. My Christian brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers, grandmothers and grandpapas. I mean, the whole place is littered with uh, tombs. As you can see, it's tombs everywhere. So even when you walk, you have to be careful that you don't step on the um, resting Christians. That's what makes the place unique. Here's our first church. There's our second church. And that's the back of the church there. This one, you can open the gate and go in. I'm going to go into this one, but the other one is just a bit too, too, too worrying for me. Okay. How they used to build them, they used to have a dome. There's a dome there, and there's nothing up there. It's just a big hole. So they didn't put any sort of a glass um, uh, to stop the snow falling in. So when it rains or when it snows, it just falls in, which is right here. And I think that's a bit sad. This is a very little room here with a very tiny little window. You have to bend a little bit in order to get in here. It's very dark. As you can see there, there's a window there. You wanna see what you can see? Oops. Sorry. It must be, let me check. Maybe about three meters long or maybe four meters. But this is, it's got a beautiful echo for acoustics. It's beautiful. And this is where they come and burn candles when they do their prayers. If you're a Christian, you can come here. You're welcome. You can come and do your prayers. It's beautiful inside. Know that this has been standing here for between 12th and 13th century. That's a very, very long time. 